We are now joined by LA Galaxy head coach Greg Manny. Uh, we'll start it off with Josh Gessman. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Greg, thanks for uh, talking to us. I um, wanted to know if we could just get your, your thoughts on, on the game. Recording in progress. Yeah, I, I thought... Uh, yeah, I thought we weren't up to the to the speed of it, you know, right from the start. I felt like, um, you know, we we were slow with the ball. We were passive sometimes. We weren't transitioning fast enough. Uh, and they came out sprinting. We made some mistakes right in front of our back line. We, we, we made some other mistakes where I felt on the first goal, our center backs had a had some sp ability to to stay ahead of or control the space where Ferrer ends up scoring and he runs by both of us and he gets to the spot before us. It's, you know, Chase gets played in behind. He's dealing with a really fast guy in a tough situation, but we still got to protect the face of the goal. So, um, and we don't, we don't get there first and we don't cut off the runner who, who ends up scoring the goal. So that's the first one. We lose the ball right in front of us uh, with Ryan losing the ball that then turns into a quick transition. I think, you know, if I was, I haven't seen it exactly, but Jules is, I think, taking off in the transition to try to get forward before we really have secured the ball. Then we lose it. Now there's a gap between Jules and Sega. Uh, they play it in, and, and you know we find ourselves in a tough situation. But we give up three goals in, in 12 minutes, uh, a lot of which are our own mistakes. And again, just us, for me, just not being at the speed we needed to be against a team that is uh, lethal in the transition and had three very dynamic, fast players at the top. Uh, we didn't manage it well, and then we're then we're spending 70 minutes, roughly 70 minutes, chasing the game. We're swimming upstream, just trying to get ourselves in one by one. And um, you know, we, we are we're in dangerous areas, but we're really not dangerous enough yet. And you know, that continues to be uh, one of the things that we we have to continue to grow on, grow at as a group, because we can't win every game 1-0, and we got ourselves behind in this one early. And so we've got to continue to get, you know, more opportunities, more chances on goal, and ultimately more goals. Uh, and that that's you know that's the other side of the coin, to, you know, um, other than just the goals that we gave up on the night. And I know you have a really busy schedule coming up. Obviously, with the game on Wednesday, a game on the yeah. weekend, another game on Wednesday. So uh, I know you were concerned last year about the condensed schedule and not getting enough time to train and, and do stuff. So is there some concern that? maybe you won't have time to fix some of these mistakes and or is it good that maybe you're playing next Wednesday? Uh, no, I think, I mean, honestly, I think it is what it is. I think our group has been together more this year. So I'm, I'm curious to see how we bounce back in a quick turnaround and, you know, and how we regroup uh, in the team. The group needs leaders to step up and, and corral the group. From us and my perspective, I need to get us set up right for the next game. Uh, and the group it has to internally look and, and respond as a group. And we have, we've, we've done a lot of that in, in a good way over the course of the season. Uh, and now we have another challenge because we got to go on the road and uh, in a tough place to play and try to bounce back and take something from the game. Thanks, Greg. Mm -hmm. Nice little Damien. Damien, you're muted. There you go. All right, there we go. I just wanted to get a chance to look at the goal, well, the, the sort of the near goal that Javier uh, had there in the uh, first half. I, ha I haven't seen it closely. Uh, I have to be honest, like, I've seen this now for two years a few times, and I still don't understand for the life of me how our league doesn't have goal line technology. It's, it seems simple. Uh, and it seems like we're worried about VAR making calls, but goal line technology seems simple, and it is actually whether a ball is in the goal or not in the goal. Like, that's that's very basic in my opinion. Instead, we're we're relying on on line, linesmen or, or assistant referees who are maybe on the line, maybe not on the line, or videos or cameras of which every stadium has different cameras and different angles, so you never really know whether you're getting the best angle. So it seems simple. I, I just don't know why. I don't understand why we don't have it. I don't have a great opinion. I saw the replay outside. I uh, haven't sit in haven't sat and really analyzed it and have uh, a firm opinion, but I think it would all be a non-discussion if we had goal line technology. That's that's my opinion of it. What's the status of Raheem going into this week? Uh, ho hopefully he will be back into training early this week. Um, I'm optimistic that maybe Wednesday. He had a very mild kind of soleus issue that they, they found, but it's it's minor. It was... You know, it was about a risk reward for this weekend, and and with this us having six games, seven games in this stretch, 
uh, it just it, be, it became not worth risking Raw tonight and give him a few more days to try to get on the other side of it. And then as you look back, coming off the game against Austin, the hard shift uh, you guys had there, you think that sort of played into the sluggish start uh, tonight at all? It's possible. It's been a busy week. You know, the guys, even if guys didn't really play on Wednesday, it's a still a very different training week. You know, guys were training in groups of five, six, seven. They were training with the second team. It was, right, it's a, just a different week. It's not an excuse. It just was a different week. And we came out too sluggish and we paid for it. And we, you know, maybe if we get through that stretch and we can give ourselves a few more minutes, maybe we get back into the game. But whatever it is, we've got to correct it because we are in the midst of playing a lot of games in a short period of time, and we've got to be able to step on the field and be at the right speed right from the start and uh, and be able to, again, manage the game appropriately and not get ourselves behind and continue to create more chances. I'm going to keep harping on that for us as a group. If you're creating them, I mean, it's no easy, you know, no easy, I guess no easy uh, solution to create in them, but what do you want to see out of this group as, as you as you go through the rest of this month? Here? Yeah, yeah. I, again, I think we need to you know continue to push forward as a group. But it, on the attacking side, I just I think sometimes we get into decent attacking positions and we and we take the easy way out instead of putting balls into dangerous positions and and. Uh, and going for it. Right now, I don't even know if our forwards know if we're going to play the ball across or not play the ball across because sometimes we just spin out and play backwards and then the forwards don't maybe run. And so I think there's some indecisiveness sometimes in, in the final action. The timing isn't right. The, uh, sometimes the, the choice in the final pass, the execution sometimes isn't, isn't great. Uh, sometimes just the finish misses and we, we put the ball in a good place and we don't finish. So it's just uh, you know, you'd have to dissect each action to to have a reason why one didn't have one didn't um, execute or the other didn't execute. But too many times, we're we're not completing the the action in, in the best way to have a great chance, you know, or a goal. Started off with uh, with Josh. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Derek. Thanks for joining us. Um, this team, through you know the first ten games, was a, a rather solid defensive unit and, and today and I think Greg said through you know about a 12 minute stretch you guys got scored on three times um, what, what does that say uh, uh, about the defense or about the state of the team right now um, it just tells me that we just had a sloppy 12 minutes and we can't do that against better teams um, we didn't start the game as we wanted made a mistake and they punished us straight away um, the better teams will do that and Throughout this season, when we've conceded a goal, we usually um, we usually calm the game down, take momentum, and we kind of did the opposite. We were open again, another mistake, and they scored again, and we were like 2-0 down, which was a killer, and then bang, 3-0. So, a very sloppy first 25, 30 minutes, um, and then it was a mountain to climb back. Um, it was a tough night, it was a tough night. A lot of times, whenever we talk about defending, and certainly through the, through the first you know part of the season, we've talked about team defense and how the team has really sort of rallied around the defensive side of things. When you look at some of these goals, it seemed like there are a lot of individual mistakes that that put some guys in some in some bad spots. Is that something that concerns you at all? And especially with the the busy week coming up with a game on Wednesday, a game next weekend, um, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of time to train on that. Um, I feel like the whole team we as. A, me as an individual, the whole team, we were just, first 30 minutes, we were just that, that yard off it. And and like you said, you get punished. Um, I don't think it's nothing to dwell on massively. Um, they could have had another two, I think, in the second half. But an off day, I, I get, I'm hoping it's just an off day. We still do things properly. We, we, we shift, we defend well as a team. Just a few individual errors uh, cost us, so we just need to, um, address that and then look look for the next game thanks Derek I appreciate it Cheers. thanks to uh, Damien hey Derek uh, just want to get your thoughts on um, coming off the game against uh, Austin uh, in, the, in the heat in the sun in a, a, a tough shift did that sort of affect the start today you think uh, I don't think so um, you never know but we can't make excuses we have to take it on the chin and make sure that we, it doesn't happen again. And if we do concede early again, we need to make sure that we take all momentum out of the game and make sure they don't score again um, within that half. Um, 
it felt a bit like last season where where we were a bit immature um, when they scored that first one. We were wide open still, but we just got to learn from it, watch the tape back, and uh, get ready for the next game. When you said immature, just on certain certain spots on the first goal, or uh, just as a team, uh, immature maybe the wrong the wrong uh, word. Uh, maybe inexperience, I say. Um, a bit more experience just to slow the game down after the first goal and kill momentum and then try to work our way back into the game because they came out firing, they were, they were fast, they were quick, so um, just know when to slow the game down. Thank you. And last one, we'll go to Alex. Hey Derek, um, just in the first half, you guys seem to be a little bit of sloppy when it came to playing out of the back at times. I mean, what do you think this team needs to do to have a smoother possessions when it comes from starting from the goalkeeper to leading to attacks? Um, we just need to keep working on it. Um, that's usually a strong point in our team, passing, passing the ball out. So they pressed us well tonight. Um, they got quick players. We just got to move for each other quickly and. Um, I think we were just that yard off this tonight um, for 30 minutes. We were just a bit slow, reacting to where they're pressing us from, and yeah, it was just a sloppy night, um, especially the first 30. Hey, Sasha, thanks for talking to us. Um, a rough night. Derek was explaining and saying uh, maybe the team reacted after those first uh, first three goals a, a little immaturely, and then maybe he clarified and said maybe a little experience. You were sitting on the bench during that time. What did you see out of the first 30 minutes? Uh, you know, just a few plays where we make mistakes. Um, first goal, you know, we've got a few steps on, on Ferreira, and, and he just beats our guys to the back post for a tap-in. Uh, second one's a giveaway in midfield. That's just a bad place to lose the ball, and, and they come the other way, and Ariola makes a good play. And then the third one, I think we just get caught up a little bit, not seeing runs coming behind us, and then a miscommunication between between Bondi and Chase. So these are mistakes that sometimes they get punished, sometimes they don't, and today we got punished three times. Um, and sometimes you can't let one mistake turn into two, turn into three, and now you're out of the game within 25 minutes. So um, I don't know if it's uh, you know some tired legs physically or mentally tonight. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have the answer right now. Um, I, I can't put my finger on it exactly, but just a, a pretty bad start in the first half. Switching to the second half, obviously you guys had a lot of possession. Uh, Greg was talking about how he wasn't happy with, with the chance creation, and that's been a theme here for a, a little while, uh, saying maybe you guys aren't getting into dangerous spots, or if you are in dangerous spots, you're passing away from it. What needs to change on that front? Uh, to start seeing goals hit in the back of the net. No, I think we all just got to continue to work on, on our principles, but also get on the same page. So, um, you know, some guys playing one and two touch, some guys more qualities are on the dribble, and so the game slows down a little bit, and we just need to, to get that that automation of working with each other and, and understanding the timing of plays. I think... Uh, Dallas did a really good job tonight on the timing of plays. So they have guys that take off and make runs uh, before the ball is played. And so the run starts to dictate the pass that needs to be played. Where we're a little bit slow, I think, in, in, in making the run. And, and then we start running after, oh, okay, now there's some space. Now the ball's coming, now I need to run. And the defense is always going to be one step ahead in that way. So um, we have a few guys that make some really good runs off the ball, and I think that the timing of plays just has to get better, and we, that's just something we have to keep working on. And then finally, uh, you guys have a bunch of games coming up. You have a game on Wednesday. Is it good that you have a game on Wednesday, or would you like to have a week of, uh, of working on, on, on the things maybe that weren't working in this game? I'm, I'm personally of the mind that uh, every time I lose a game, I'm, I'm happy when there's a game three days later because it's a chance to make things right. So... Uh, we go to Minnesota, which is a tough place to play. Um, you know, we had one good result there last year, one bad one. So hopefully we'll, we'll take some of that feeling from the good one, get back to Minnesota and get after it right away and, and try to write things uh, and make them good again around here. So, yeah, I'm happy we're playing again. Thanks, Asha. Appreciate it. Uh, nice to meet Damien. Thank you, Asha. Um, speaking of the schedule, you, I think it's what? It was five games in between today and the end of the month. That, with, with that comes not a lot of time to train. Um, so how, how, how does the group sort of approach this stretch here? 
Well, you know, it's one game at a time. We can't look too far ahead. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I, I know the, the LAFC Cup game is the biggest one of the month, probably, that everyone's excited about. But first things first, we got to go to Minnesota. And so on, on, I would say there's two things we got to do. One is look at video because you don't have a lot of time to actually physically train on the field and, and be able to make a lot of these runs and have a lot of physical training. So... A lot of stuff's got to be in the classroom that we got to watch stuff, talk about it, get better. The other thing uh, for us that's important is our depth, that we're going to need a lot of guys to contribute over the next 15 days or so. Um, everybody's got to be ready. Everyone's mentality has got to be ready. I, I know that guys get disappointed when they're not in the starting lineup for every single game, but at this point in the season, that's just not possible, and we need everybody to be fully bought in and ready to play every single game, whether that's five minutes, 10 minutes, or 90 minutes. So those are the two things for me. Um, so Thursday, I, 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 I asked Mark, when does he think this group should be playing their best? And he said around the mid-season point. Um, what are those steps? I mean, like where you guys are now, you think, are you guys gonna be there in mid-season form, playing your best in a couple, what, month or so, month and a half from here? Yeah, I think so. I think we've definitely been one of the better teams in the league. Uh, we're not at the top yet, but we're definitely above the middle part of, of the league. Um, and a lot of the numbers show that. I think maybe our chance creation needs to be better, but defensively, I, I feel like tonight is a bit of an anomaly that uh, from the run of play, we just gave up some some bad chances where most of this season we've we've defended very well as a team and not given up good chances to the opposition from the run of play so um set pieces has been another story something we need to continue to work on uh but from the run of play we've been a very good team defending group and i hope that i hope that tonight is just an anomaly and that that we get back to that in minnesota and and that's kind of what drives us and pushes us throughout the summer because I do think the attacking things will come with time. Thanks, Josh. And lastly, we'll close it out with Rob. Hey, Sasha. How are you? Thanks for the time. Um, you, you mentioned the automation of play and how you know maybe Dallas was uh, a little bit better at that today. Um, speaking specifically of the back line and, and Gaspar filling in for, for Edwards today, how much of the breakdown there on the left side was, like you mentioned, the, the lack of automation of play or lack of experience, and how much of it was lack of tactics or like a breakdown of tactics? You know, I think we got a little spread out uh, in certain plays today where where in the past I think we've done a very good job of the distances between all of us being very tight and being very compact and being being harder to play against. Um, what I will say is that I think Chase gave everything he had. Uh, I know he has not trained a lot in the past few months. Um, and so for him to go out and play 90 minutes, I think he showed a lot of character and we've all got his back. Um, and he's been a nice addition to our group. So I'm not pointing fingers or blame at anybody in the back line. I think that as a team, we did not defend so well as a team in certain moments, transition moments, especially just being a little bit too spread out behind the play. Thanks a lot, Sasha. Thanks for your time, Sasha. All right, thanks everybody, good night.